Welcome, this is Zwift Academy's women's workout. We're doing sprints today. We have a nice group. And so I'm gonna tell everyone that we're gonna start rolling easy. We're gonna start at one and a half. So we start, easy to warm up, get everybody up to pace. There's a peloton here. We are on Zwift. Today we're gonna do the uh, flat course in Watopia. So I'm letting everybody know on the ride that we're live on Facebook and YouTube in case they want to follow along. Just going for a warm up here. Keeping it easy for now. And we'll get a feel for how the group is feeling with the pace and we adjust accordingly. Thanks for joining on YouTube and on Facebook. Again, Zwift Academy Women's Sprint Workout. So we're gonna keep a 2.2 watts per kilogram pace or below. The goal here is to work hard on the sprints. So we're going to do two sprints, one at the official start of the sprint counter for the Watopia course. We're going forward on a flat course. And the second sprint will be 200 meters from the start finish banner. So I'm going to let the riders know that. Yeah, so I let them know where we're going to be sprinting today.
Let's get a feel for how the group is feeling today. Strong and ready to work out or tired, but excited to be here. Okay, we got an answer, excellent. Great, awesome. Let's get them excited. Let's get the riders excited to work hard. Steady on the hill. I think I'm right mid-pack here. I think we have one rider off the back putting in over three and a half watts per kilogram to catch up. My usual joke. So Watope is a great course. So many options. You can do hard climbs. You can do flat courses where you do intervals or do more of an endurance space ride. Lots of good options here. So we're on a flat course so that we can move at a 2.2 .2 watt per kilogram pace without too much variation and work on our sprints. So again, every lap, we'll have two opportunities for sprinting. The first one, the official start counter for sprinting in Watopia in the forward course. And the second one at the 200 meter banner before the start finish. Nice size group. Staying together. Hey, that's the beacon. <laughs> Hiding my avatar. That's funny. There you go. So let's treat this treat the first sprint as more of a warm up. We can use that first sprint as a leg opener. So 
so I would recommend against going all out on that one. So my recommendation is for the first sprint, keep your power between 90 and 100% of FTP. Hey Claire, I think you're on Facebook. Thanks for joining. Check in. Let's check in and see how the pace is for the group here. Okay, I'm getting feedback that the pace is good. Excellent. So we'll keep it. If during the ride there are any issues with the pace, things are going a little bit out of whack, just let me know. We'll adjust it. But I'll keep an eye on it. So. After each sprint, we're going to regroup. We're getting close. So after the cobbles and before the tunnel is our first sprint. And here we go. I think we have a couple of people going pretty hard on this one. Soft pedal to regroup. Especially after the sprint, there's a bit of a uh, an incline. Let's take it easy here.
Nice work. Gonna go back to two point two. We still have a few people be in the back. So the next sprint is going to be shorter because it will start at the 200 meter sign. So let's uh, do that one just a tiny bit higher than the first. Okay, we're approaching the second sprint for the lap at the 200 meter sign. Let's see if I can time this so my text comes through just in time. So this is your 300 meter sign. And that's your 200 meter. I'm not gonna sprint all out because the group is pretty split out. Let's regroup. One point five, not two point five. <laughs> Sweaty fingers can't type. Just really easy here. We got a few riders behind.
So typically in a big group, there will be a few riders, one or two, maybe three, who might be off the back. They might be new to group riding. And that's okay, they can still read all of my cues and follow along because we're in the event module. So they should be able to benefit from the workout the same way. Happy legs, getting warm now. We completed one lap and we've done two sprints. So everyone should be ready to go for the next sprint. So for the next sprint, the goal is to go all out as hard as you can. You can do it either seated sprint or out of the saddle. I'll leave it up to each one of you to choose what you want to work on. Or maybe start seated. And then stand, you could do that too. So the key on standing sprints is to keep your weight centered over the cranks of your bike. You're going to be leaning forward naturally, but you should avoid leaning forward too much over your handlebars so that you're shifting your weight forward. Then your sprint is no longer as effective. Steady on the hill. So in a forward course, in Wachopia, the sprint is longer. Anywhere from 20 to 30 seconds, depending on how fast you can go. But if you're doing reverse, that's shorter. So you can be between 11 and 15 seconds on average. Again, depending on how fast you are. Lots of dust. I can't see anything. There you go. After the dust settles. Mm -hmm. 
We have such a diverse group of writers here today. We have US writers, UK, Belgium, Sweden, South Africa, Israel. It's just great to see. That's what makes this experience of writing on Zwift even more special. Having the opportunity to interact with these writers from everywhere. Not to mention stories of family members who live in different cities, sometimes different countries, and they get to ride together in a virtual roads here. So I'm telling everyone, after the sprint, you wanna pedal easy, but you wanna keep your cadence high. So 80 RPMs or higher, but at a very low power so that you can clear out that lactic acid from your muscles, get rid of that burning sensation, recover for your next sprint. Just checking to make sure everybody knows when to start the sprint. Again, group is doing great keeping together. Getting close, just before the tunnel.
I think we had a few riders starting a little earlier. Soft battle to regroup. Some strong efforts here today. I can't type. So we're going to have one more sprint coming up that's from the 200 meter sign. Okay, we have a 200 meter sprint coming up. We can pick up speed if you want. Take advantage of this downhill here. You can use power ops at any time. This is the 300 meter sign. And here we go. Yeah. 
in our group. So we probably have since so this is lap three or four. So we might have two more laps. Yeah, so I know we have a few new riders that might be having a little bit of difficulty. Okay, we're gonna bring the pace to 2.0. So I'm giving riders an option here. If they're having a hard time recovering between the sprints, instead of doing two per lap, they could do one. Do the longest one, as hard as you can. And then skip the second one. Some riders that are new to structure training 
might have a little bit more fatigue on the legs from one sprint. So that might be enough for them for one lap. That's why I like to give the option. Or it could be that somebody already had a workout today or had a hard weekend and the legs are tired. We're here to get strong together, but also to have fun. It's not a race. So we can adjust according to the needs of the riders here. Steady up the hill. Slight incline, 3.3% grade. quiet group here today understandable when we did the steady state ride last week and the week before there was much more chatter because obviously people didn't have to work as hard it's easier to type a really good group here staying together everybody regrouping after the sprints It's great that you took this time for yourself today. One hour dedicated to you. Let's make the most out of it. Enjoy. Don't be too hard on yourself. Work hard, but always in a positive way. Keeping the pace. If you have any feedback about the ride, I'm happy to hear it. You can contact me on Strava or Facebook. Another sprint coming up. I'm gonna let them know it's in the second tunnel though. We had a few of them going a little earlier because it was when I said we go at the tunnel. But really, it's the second tunnel. Just 
It was great work here from everyone. Sticking to it. If you're feeling strong, and I can sense from some of the writers here that they are strong, and they might want some more stimulus, they wanna, they might wanna work a little harder. So your chance is to really try to do your personal best and beat your own time on the next sprint. Have fun on that sprint. This is the first tunnel. That's not your tunnel. I'm not gonna sprint all out. I'm gonna keep together with the group. I could hear my trainer making noise. So if this is a 60 minute ride, I'm not sure we'll have time to complete another full lap. So we might want to uh, take the next sprint and go really hard on that one.
I'm going to keep with the pace. I'm not going to chase that front group. Yeah, that last one was harder because the legs are fatigued by now. You've done quite a few sprints already. So the next one is optional. If you're tired, So a lap is typically 15 minutes at the current pace. And we might not get another chance to sprint, so this might be your last chance here. From the uh, 200 meter sign, we can speed. Easy now. See if you can regroup. Hey Megan, thanks. Just saw your comment. Work getting in the way, huh? <laughs> thanks for watching. So it looks like we might have another lap. We have one rider dropping off a little earlier here. Thanks so much for joining. And that's actually a very good approach. If you know you don't have an hour or an hour and 15, however long the, the ride is, you can join for as long as you can and still get some hard work in.
So let's see, what can we do with the next sprint? To make it fun, we could play with Cadence. Be it as high RPMs or do it as a masher with lower RPMs, around 70 RPMs. So let me give these ladies that option here. So here are the options for the next sprint, just to make it a little more fun. You could do it at high, RP high RPMs, seated, try to get to 100 or more, keeping the power up without bouncing off the saddle too much, keeping your core engaged, or you can do it at lower cadence, around 70, and treat it more as a uh, power type interval for that sprint. And option three, rider's choice, do whatever you want as long as you regroup after. So if you do high RPMs, let me just tell them about the core engagement. I think by now a lot of people are getting tired. So you must be tired by now, and you could be tired by now, but this is really when change happens. It's by working harder than you're used to 
that you get the stimulus in your muscles. And then when you rest, you recover, you get stronger. So I typically make the analogy that working hard, harder than you're used to, is what provides the stimulus for your muscles to get stronger, but really you need to recover for that to happen. So it's like the baking of the cake. The workout, or the workouts are the ingredients, and the recovery is the baking of the cake. So I'm telling the writers here to give it a go, even if they're tired. Even if they have to rest before they cross the, the green banner, which is the end of the sprint. Just so they're working with the power that they have left in the legs. The numbers should be going down by now. Again, just as a consequence of doing many of these already.
Way to go, ladies. We have a mile and a half left. Big group passing by. I think that's the kiss race going by us. So I told everybody, if this is it, this is all the time they have, take the rest of this ride as a cool down. But if you have time to cool down a little bit, you know, later after this ride, five, seven minutes, then do that last sprint. Thank you so much, ladies. You rock. You did amazing. This was not an easy one. Finishing up our Zwift Academy women's sprints. Great workout. Good group. Good turnout. Thanks, everyone. I'll see you next week.